Hello everyone, it's Seeking Jess and I hope you're doing amazing. So as I've already mentioned in one of my previous videos, I have quit my very good job in my favorite city of the world. And you know, I've done it because I haven't been feeling well mentally, physically, everything was just overwhelming for me and it was just too much. The moment that I've done it, I've got a lot of opinions of people. And so this video, I want to talk about living up to the expectations of others. So as I said, the moment that I've done it, I have gotten a lot of people that were like, hey, this is great, I support you, I know you will do a great job, blah, 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 all of that stuff, right? And then I got the other side of the people, which haven't been that many because I feel like most people are scared to say it. They will probably say it behind my back. They said it behind my back to other people. But there will always be the people that will say like, she's stupid, why would she do that? You know, having such a great job, now she's without anything. Um, she's so young and she just lost an amazing opportunity, right? So I have two sides of people. So now I'm in this position. Okay, so who am I going to listen to? Should I even care about either side? Should I care about, you know, the people that think I did, I've done a good thing? Should I care about the people that judge me for what I've done. At the end of the day, I realized that there's always going to be people that will judge you. For example, when I quit my job, I got one opinion about someone that told me, I never expected that from you. You could have, you know, grown so big in this company and you're only so young, <clears throat> so I don't understand your choice. And then I said to this person, you know what? Thank you. I didn't even ask for your opinion, but thank you. I appreciate it, but I know my way. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, this wasn't my way, at least not for now. And I know even the fact that I still have this on my mind shows that I kind of cared about the opinions of others. Otherwise, this thing wouldn't be on my mind anymore, right? But you know, with quitting your job and all of that stuff and then doing the thing that you love, you will get a lot of people also judging you by just seeing what you're doing. And so there will be the people again that will be super happy and be like, yeah, you're doing an amazing job, you know, go for it. Da, da, da. And then it will be the other side of the people, uh, the, the other side of the people that will say, well, you know what, of course you can do this now if you quit your job, you know, have all the time in the world to do whatever you do. But at the end of the day, the only person that knows what's right for you is you and no one else. It can be your mom, it can be your best friend, it can be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, it can be an co old colleague, it can be a stranger on the internet that will always have, there is always going to be people that will have an opinion about you and will think they know best for you. But you know what? That's not what life is about. Having constant expectations from other people puts a lot of pressure on us. I mean, I'm saying this right now, but I'm dealing with it every day myself as well, that I want to make everyone else happy around me and sometimes I forget myself. That's why probably I also stayed in this job for so long because I got so many opinions of people like, oh, you're doing a great job. You know, you're in, you're working in such a great company, um, blah, 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 all of that stuff. So I put my well-being to the side and thought about, okay, how can I make those people happy? And that's what I've done for too long until I crashed. And you know, even up until this day, especially if you're as free as I am, it can get very hard sometimes because you will still have people <laughs> always trying to tell you what to do and what's right. Sometimes you will not be able to reach the expectations of other people, especially with it's close people to you. It will be very hard to deal with uh, disappointments. But sometimes, you know, you, you know deep in your heart, like, okay, this is the way that I have to go. And sometimes there is no plan B. There is plan A. I will do anything possible to get there. So sometimes we might disappoint one person or another by telling them like, hey, no, I'm sorry today. I cannot go out because right now my priority is this. You're always going to have expectations from other people. You probably also expect stuff from other people as well. So it always depends on how fair these expectations are and also how related they are to your own actions, I guess. At the end of the day, my message is here that stay true to yourself. Don't let the expectations of other people make you feel like you're worse or you're not good enough. Sometimes it happens to me. I feel like that, like I'm not good enough because I cannot reach the expectations that other people have of me. I sit down and I remind myself like, hey, chill, you know? I know I'm here, I know what I'm doing, I know what I want to reach in my life. I have to stop trying to live up to the expectations of other people because that's the only way that I can live, which is so wrong. As long as you love people, as long as you show them your love, your compassion, and as long as you're a good person, and I know the definition of good is 
different for everyone else. But as long as you're a good person for yourself in your heart, this is the most important thing. Also, you have to take care of yourself first because if you don't do that, there's no way you can give love to other people if you don't love yourself first. <sighs> deep one, again, who thought that I would make another deep one? But that's, that's me. Um, yeah, let me know if you liked the video and the message in the video and uh, if you, you know, just share anything that is on your mind because this is something important to me. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, that would make me super happy and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!